Hi, it's Kim and welcome to the channel today. What I'm going to do is show you quite a bit of my Sansevieria or snake plant type plants and we're going to try to propagate. That's what we'll be doing today. Now, I'm going to show you the results of all my dismantling and prepping the plants but I'll just show you one by one, but this is what I've done. Got the tray ready for the actual propagation. Now, my plants, some of them are very big. This little table is about four foot across, and I've got them from one edge to the other. That's how tall some of them are. We are going to replant some of the main blades that I have taken out but then I've also got some of the spears cut and we're going to propagate them. So join me today and let me show you how we started out to get this mess. Okay, now for my propagation, I'm gonna take the big snake plant, the Laurentii that I have, and I'm just gonna take a couple of the big long blades, leaves, whatever these are called, and I'm just going to cut them off. There we are, one big nice blade. And then I'm going to get a separate one that'll be for the soil propagation because we're going to try both. So that one will be nice, both of those. And just in case I want extra pieces, I'm going to get another one. Let me try this one. Okay, there we are. Now, as I explained over on the blog post, as I understand, these type of plants are a shimmera, if I'm saying that right, that they are a combination of two type plants that they have, I don't know, genetically mutated or were engineered that way. So when pups come from this plant and when we get sprouts, the pups will not come back with this yellow border. They will come back only with this green inside. So that's what I'm going to expect. Now when it roots, I would think it would just stay with the same color, but that's just my speculation. So we're gonna get these into soil and water and see what we get. You can see where these came up. Let me just try to pull because we can separate these. These are the pups we talked about. There, I'm making a mess. You can see where they pupped, and these do not have that yellow striation up at the top. They just came out straight green. But that is how they pup, just coming up from the roots alone. I'll plant these separately. We're gonna have so many snake plants, I don't know what to do with them. I'm gonna go ahead and uproot this. I'm just gonna see what we can develop with transplanting these, perhaps into a new hypertufa. Look at that. That looks really nice. That's a tall one. He must be almost three feet long. Here's another section. And you know, look at him. Oops. Oh, that's the little rootlets where those pups came off. Oh, there's a little separate pup, a big leaf, and then another tiny one coming out of there. That looks cute. So I'm gonna get quite a few more out of this main bowl here. 
Look at all that. Well, I've made a mess for the breakfast table. Okay, now we're ready to propagate and I've see, singled out these three blades here. And I chose the longest one to just go ahead and stick in a vase with just a tiny, maybe half inch of water in the bottom. I will just set that aside and let the single blade root in a tall vase. That'll be cute. Now the other two blades, I'm going to snip up. I'm gonna use a little shorter bottle to put them in, still with just a tiny bit of water in the bottom that I will change whenever I think about it, which will maybe be every, every uh, maybe 10 days or so if I think about it. Now, I'm gonna cut all these up into, I guess it's about a two inch section and get a little spot to prop in that glass of water. Um, what I plan to do is to notch the ends of it because I, I understand that the bottom end of the blade is the one that the roots will come out of. And if you accidentally don't stick that correct bottom end in there, then they're not going to root because they need to root at the root end. So. I've speeded this up just to um, show you where I've notched each of those ones and I'm going to put them in there. That way when I lay them out, change water, etc., I don't get mixed up which is the bottom and which is not. Now if we get some roots real quickly, I'll be able to tell, otherwise I won't. Now in the soil propagation, I'm doing the same thing. I've already cut the pieces apart and notched them and I have chosen, it's a little drain lid, or I'm sorry, a drain saucer that is um, plastic and I've gotten real well draining soil with coarse sand in there so they won't be waterlogged and I'll only keep this just slightly damp when I feel necessary. But the reason I chose this is because it'll have the clear see-through sides and without even disturbing the little um, pieces, I can see if the roots are growing. So what I'll do is just stick them all around the rim and that way I can look up at the sides and see when the roots form, if the roots form, and I'll be able to keep them upright so that soil will grow. Don't know what I'll do with all of, if all of these root, but I'm going to have a lot of snake plants. Now these little stone, you can get them at the dollar store. It's a uh, what a dollar a pound for those little bags of decorative stone. I love these. I think they're pretty Don't go pay eight dollars at Lowe's or a uh, plant shop because these are very cute little stone to put in the top of your succulents But I'll just put that in so it'll look cute sitting over on the tables I'm going to keep this in a window in the family room now you can see that see-through side I should be able to easily see if and when the roots are going to form now, I expect this oil to take longer than the water, but maybe that's just my expectations. But here are my three experiments, and I'm going to have to update you later to see how they go. But those are the pieces in the shallow water, the pieces in the soil, and then my long piece. We'll see how that works too. But here they are over in the window still dark outside. It's probably only about 5.30 in the morning, so the sun hasn't come up yet. This is when I like to do my work, so I will update you later and let you see how they do. But I'll attach another video that you might be interested in, and thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. See you next video.